the nation? The safest feature in your car is you. Add Vanishing Deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Do not get under an overpass or bridge. You are safer in a low, flat location. And be sure to check the weather forecast before leaving for extended periods outdoors and watch for signs of approaching storms. presents today on two. It is Wednesday the 18th day of February and school is delayed two hours once again. <coughs> All right. City schools, county schools, St. Bernard will start at 10 o'clock. I wonder what they're going to do tomorrow when it's going to be eight degrees or whatever it is. <laughs> Probably delayed well, again tomorrow. and huh? then maybe Friday. Oh, it's going to be worse on Friday? Oh, it may be. Okay, well, let's take a look at that. Yeah, the weather just keeps changing and changing. And <laughs> it's hard to keep up with it. Let's start with our weather, brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. The Almanac for the 18th of February, the average high 57. Wouldn't Ooh. that be great to see that again? <laughs> yeah. The average low 36. That would be kind of nice, too. That would be good if we could just see 36 That's during the day. Right. The record high 75 in 1927. The record low 3 below in 1958. Sunset at 5.33. Sunrise tomorrow at 6.28. There's the satellite picture. and Actually, so you can see the snow is just kind of diminishing. It was snowing really good this morning when I when I was out on 157. The time mm -hmm. I got downtown, nothing. Huh. Here's our forecast for today. Another cloudy day, a slight chance of flurries, I guess the best way to put it, with a high of 32. Overnight low tonight, 11. Whoa. By tomorrow morning, tomorrow warming up to a balmy 25. All right. <laughs> Woo. Then Friday. 70% chance of a wintry mix is okay. what I am hearing. Okay. High of 35, low of 32. Saturday, an 80% chance of more precipitation, mm -hmm. hopefully rain. If we get any precipitation, yeah. let's have rain, huh? Yeah. Sunday, 60%. I know that uh, a lot of young people are disappointed that we haven't had snow. Right, right. Well, don't give up yet. Oh, might be next don't. week. Could be Friday. Oh, Could okay. Be Thursday night or Friday. Okay. We'll have to see. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. 
talking about the weather. This is Severe Weather Preparedness Week. It is. And, and we we've been talking about the shelters that are available. Yes, and we want to let you know that there are some community safe rooms available during a tornado watch at the City of Good Hope. They have it in their City Hall basement at 134 Town Hall Drive. The, what's that word? freestanding behind City Hall, I guess, and then also Good Hope Volunteer Fire Department on Day Gap Road. And the City of Coleman, there's one located right there uh, at 1511 Sportsman's Lake Road, and also the Coleman, Court Coleman County Courthouse is available. So if we have a tornado and you're living in a trailer or you're out someplace, can't get to your home or feel like you need to be in a safe shelter and your home isn't good enough, go to one of these places and yep. scout it out beforehand. Don't wait till the last minute to figure <laughs> out. Try and figure out yeah. where is it. Okay, 501 yeah. Day Gap Row. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, in going along with severe weather preparedness, we have our expert to okay. talk about the details. All right. Miss <laughs> Phyllis Little is here. She's the EMA director. We're going to talk to her, but also to find out a little bit about a, a savings uh -huh. coming up this weekend if you're interested right. in buying generators and things like that to be prepared. Uh -huh. So Who gonna, else is with us? Well, Miss Deb Lashley, she's here. One we of our an favorites. All -star cast yes, today. Yes, we do. <laughs> And our fr Facebook friend of the day is Miss Rayanne Moore. And Miss Rayanne, of course, likes, oh, I love it, Auburn football. All right, you go, girl. And Toy Story. So, very good for her. And we are going to give her that large barbecue uh, sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here first, Rayanne, first, and pick up your certificate. Okay, we'll continue our program. Talk to Phyllis right after this. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment clearly. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Be aware of flying debris. Tornadoes can pick up large objects and turn them into missiles. Flying debris causes the most tornado deaths. Look for the following danger signs. A dark greenish sky, large hail, a large dark low-lying cloud, or a loud roar similar to a freight train. Severe weather preparedness time. Phyllis Little is back with us. Thank you, Phyllis, for coming in today. Thank you for the invitation. Seems kind of odd. We're talking snow and frigid right. temperatures and <laughs> tornadoes all at the same time. Is there any time of the year that tornadoes are not a threat in Alabama? No, there's really not. Yeah. We can have a tornado in any month of the year. Uh -huh. I guess because of our warm temperatures and then the cold coming in, that kind of usually the generates. The way the, the uh -huh. jet stream flows. Yeah. 
through the year, it just happens to hit us just right. We're right. lucky, I guess, in that respect. You know, I came from Louisiana, and hurricanes were the big thing down mm -hmm. there. And we did have tornadoes, for sure, but hurricanes were the really biggie. And then I move up here, and I think, oh, okay, I'm okay with about the hurricanes, and then it's tornadoes. Right. <laughs> I don't we know did which get is worse. worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least with a hurricane, you get a few days' notice. Yes, you do. You yeah. can board up your windows and right. get prepared for it. Tornadoes just kind of seem to, sometimes just pop out of the blue. And because geographically, where Alabama sits in the country and the way the weather usually flows with the jet streams, seems like ours usually come overnight. Yes. So yeah. it, it uh, pays us to prepare early. And that's what we're talking things. about today, yes. be prepared. So what are some tips yes. you're going to give us today? Well, this is sales tax holiday weekend okay. for severe weather preparedness. Okay. So uh, folks can get a sales tax break on supplies to build their preparedness kits. Such as? Flashlights, batteries, battery operated radios, um, even on a generator if it's less than a thousand dollars. You can get a tax break so on those. So we're talking about like a little small portable type generator. Right. right. Uh, a lot okay. of folks have, uh, I believe they're about a 5k okay. uh, generator and um, those will keep your refrigerator or your freezer going for mm -hmm. a few days. Right. right. But uh, anything like that, less than a thousand dollars, is um, falls under the tax-free thing for this weekend. And then you have your flashlight batteries, everything from bungee cords to uh, mm -hmm. the artificial ice, the blue ice little yeah. packs that you can get. You can go to the Department of Revenue website. Okay. And they will give you a complete list. Oh. Right. Check it off, and so if there. you want to right. just kind of stock up on some of that stuff, that's a good it's, idea. It's a good time to replenish your stock or to go ahead and build a first uh, first response kit for your family. Okay. And a preparedness kit. All right. First aid type supplies. First aid kits are in yeah in the list. Okay. So a lot cool. of things that you wouldn't really think about. Mm -hmm. Extension cords. Oh. So things well, like that. Well, I noticed too, duct tape. Duct tape. Oh. Yes. Wood. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh Drop cloths, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. There, oh. There's a lot more on the list than people really realize. A lot of folks think, okay, it's flashlights and batteries, mm -hmm. and right. that's pretty much it. Right. But there's a lot of different things on there, wow. and it really pay folks if, if mm -hmm. that's their plan and mm -hmm. they want to build a kit to take advantage of this weekend to do it. Right. The sales tax holiday will start at 12.01 a.m. <laughs> on Friday and okay. run through 12 p.m or 12, uh, 12 a.m. on Sunday. It'll okay. run through midnight to okay. midnight okay. through right. the weekend. Okay, so very good. And what are some things that uh, people need to be aware of with this severe weather preparedness? Um, people need to be prepared. Mm -hmm. They need to check the batteries in their normal weather radios. If they don't have weather radios, mm -hmm. might be a good time to pick up a weather radio okay. the weekend. Uh, those are things that we encourage. And you mentioned earlier the community shelters across the county. Mm -hmm. um, the new one, the newest one, is the one on Sportsman's Lake Road. Okay. And that's actually a five-pod community shelter down there. It okay. will hold uh, between 450 and 500 people. Wow. Wow. Now, you might have to like one another real <laughs> well. But, uh, <laughs> but it is, it's, there's five pods sitting side by side down there right across from the fairgrounds parking lot okay and um they don't have um the power and water completely hooked up to them yet but they okay. they could be used okay so those are, are ready but we have uh, several that have been built in uh, the different municipalities and in a lot of the volunteer fire departments have put them up mm -hmm. anybody can go to our website it's coleman okay. county or Coleman County, it's ColemanEMA.org. Okay. And there is a list, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see community shelters, and okay. you can click on that, and it'll give you a complete list right. of the community shelters that are available, those that have been built with federal funding and the basement of Dodge City uh, Town Hall and some like that right. that are used, tell you what the occupancy is approximately, right. and um, what the rules are. All shelters are no pets. Oh. Only service animals. Okay. And that's a safety thing because mm -hmm. you put lots of folks in a shelter and mm -hmm. lots of folks who are anxious and upset with animals mm -hmm. and then you mix small children in that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things happen that you right. don't want to. Right. So okay. they are pet free zones. Okay. 
They are non-smoking. Okay. No alcoholic beverages okay. and all that kind oh, of stuff. I'm gonna bring my lawn chair and my can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are rules that have to be observed, <laughs> but uh, there are community shelters available, and I am so proud to have the big shelter here in the city of Coleman now. Yeah. Because for years we've only had the hallway in the courthouse basement. Yeah. So that has been a big thing. Um, we also have the basement of the Beach Center over next to the Margaret Jean Jones Center. It's part of their new right. facility. Right. Uh, Red Cross has offices there, mm -hmm. and um, we've had volunteers to open that up mm -hmm. in the event that it's needed as a shelter also. Okay. Well, all right. I guess just word of the wise, check this stuff out ahead of time before the actual event happens, and then we'll be prepared and ready exactly. in the event that something bad does happen. Exactly. And hopefully it won't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Phyllis. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. We'll be back and talk to Deb Lashley right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. If no underground shelter or safe room is available, a small windowless interior room or a hallway on the lowest level of a sturdy building is the safest alternative. Days like this, the smartest thing to do is just stay home and cuddle up with a good book. Read a book. Read a book. Read a book. Oh, There's some hot books out there. Yes. Oh, there, are. Are. <laughs> there are some hot ones. Okay. Um, those of you who have been into the store before, and of course you have, um, know that I am very blessed to have my mom work with me uh -huh. every yes. day. Um, or most days, when she feels like it. <laughs> anyway, um, and Mom and I have grown up reading together. And our reading tastes do pretty much this, mm -hmm. but then I go one way and she'll go another way, <laughs> and, and I'll say, oh, this was just the best book. I just loved it. And I'll give it to her, and Mom goes, I, I just couldn't get into it. Yeah. You know, and then she'll read a great book, and she'll get into it, and, and she'll say, oh, you're going to love this. And I'd read it and go... Maybe not today, not you so know, much, but yeah. once in a while, uh -huh. we get one that we both go, oh, you got to read this book, and it's <laughs> great, and we both just love it, and this is one of them. Um, this has actually been out a while. It's called Roses. It's by Leela or Lila, I'm not sure how you say her name, bless her heart, Meacham. Uh, it's, a, it's been compared to Gone with the Wind, which I think is um, not fair because I like this book better. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, blasphemy. I know, wow. I know. <laughs> you are in the South, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I can't believe I said that. Well, must say me. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is a family saga story of the love of land. And Somerset mm -hmm. is the name of, of the land. Um, it's just such a marvelous 
story. It sta- I'll tell you how it starts out because it won't hurt the book. Uh, it starts out with an, an elderly matron changing her will at the last minute. Oh. And she changes everything Uh-oh. and doesn't tell anyone except oh. her lawyer friend who Uh-oh. begs her not to do this. Oh. And then we kind of back up and you see what leads up to all oh, of it. Wow. And it's kind of thickish. It's, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's, but let me tell you, you won't, you won't realize how thick the book is until mm-hmm. you get to the end and you think, oh, it's, I, there's got to be more of this. I, I got to have more. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those books. It's really good. So if you're looking for a great winter read, uh-huh. I would definitely pick up a copy of Roses. Okay. It, it's, oh, it's just so good. Well, so you know, good. I'll, I'll be there this afternoon. There you go. Yeah, thank anyway. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk lately about this book by Pretorius, uh, Ghost Boy. Um, been a lot of talk on NPR and some of the um, talk type stations. Uh-huh. This is a true story that uh, is about a young man who goes into the hospital, as I think he's like eight, with a really bad sore throat and basically goes into a coma. Um, and for several years, three or four years, he's just in a coma. Um, but then something happens. He comes out of the coma, but no one else knows it but him. He can open his eyes, but he can't move them voluntarily. He can't move any of his body. He, he's totally paralyzed, but his brain is alive and work and ticking, and he knows everything that's going on around him for seven years. But nobody knows. But nobody that. else knows that he's oh, with it. Wow. It's an amazing story. And um, wow. some of the healthcare professionals are marvelous, mm-hmm. some not. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like real life. Sure. Um, there's some family issues that go on. Um, it's just an amazing story. And I would encourage folks to read it. It's, um, it's interesting and fascinating and the way this young man tells his story is just riveting absolutely oh. riveting hmm. and um i i would recommend it okay. Nonfiction, true story yeah. came out this year okay. ghost Ooh. boy ghost, ghost boy. boy um here's another one that's come out by david platt um he's the birmingham ooh, shiny book the Birmingham Preacher that came out with Radical. I think a lot of people read Radical. Yep. This is his new book. It came out last week called Counterculture. And I think this is going to be even better than Radical, those, those of you who read that. Um, it, I haven't finished the whole book. I'm, on, I'm about the third chapter in right now. But this is not a quick read. This is one of those, you've got to pick it up, you read a couple of pages, and then you've got to put it down and think about it. It's very deep. Um, mm. It's very thought-provoking. It's marvelous. And it's, it's all social. It's how our Christianity and how our social have for so long been so different. You know, we have our church people Mm -hmm. that are church people on Sundays, Mm -hmm. but Monday afternoon, they're not church people no more. Mm. You know, we all know those. Um, And we all fall into that category on occasion. Um, But this this tells us how to merge that. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, uh, Reverend Pastor David Mm -hmm. Platt from okay. Birmingham has done a marvelous job. And I highly recommend this book. It's it's another okay. really, really good read. Okay. And today is the first season of Lent, first day of Lent. That's, That's right. true. That's right. Today's and I've got, Wednesday. there's a wonderful new book okay. out called Bread and Wine, Readings for Lent and Easter. And do forgive me because I left my other glasses at home. Unfortunately, I had these in my purse, but they're like, they're the prescription from several years ago. <laughs> So, <laughs> what you going to do? Um, so anyway, so I was going to read a little bit of this, but I can't. Um, I can see the words, and I know they're there. Uh, <laughs> they're just kind of fuzzy. They're just the kind of fuzzy. This, the introduction to this is wonderful, and it, it, it speaks about the meanings of some of our words in Lent. And they don't mean what you think they mean. Uh, Lent is actually, yeah, we think of it as a time of mourning and a time of giving up and a time of preparing for, it's, it's springtime. It's springtime. Hmm. So this is wonderful. So it's got a great introduction that talks about what's going, what you're going to read in the book. And then it has wonderful Lenten readings by, let's see, St. Augustine, Kierkegaard, C.S. Lewis, Rossetti, uh, Tolstoy, Tolstoy, wow. yeah. Anyway, great book, and it would be a great gift for yourself, hmm. and then put it in your church library. Oh. Um, it would be really, really nice. If you've got a, um, a little um, devotional or something that you've got to gear up for, mm-hmm. 
Okay. Got your book. Cool. cool. Really, cool. really nice book. Okay. Yeah. The reason we exist as okay. a store mm -hmm. All right. is for children's books. Okay. <laughs> I Cause, love kids' books. I love them. <laughs> I love kids. This is my new favorite book, The Bear Ate Your Sandwich. <laughs> Let's Where's see if we the there? Can you tilt it just that a little bit? Anyway, little can bit. you get a? a oh, yeah. I, I'm supposed to put it down on the yeah, thing and not touch it because yeah. that makes Shackle unhappy. Yeah, there. great there. illustrations, great illustrations, and I, I don't want to give away. Well, obviously, you know who ate your sandwich, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Really? Are you sure about that? Oh, oh yeah, you need to read this book. It's okay. wonderful. <laughs> I love this book. And another one. You know how I, I'm just a huge Doreen Cronin fan. I loved her when she came out with Click Clack Moo. Right. Um, I loved her when she ran Duck for President. I'd still vote for him. Right. <laughs> Click Clack Peep. <laughs> Great book. I love her illustrations. I love her stories. I love her characters. Um, there's just, you know, it doesn't matter. Just get the book. It's Is this great. a good little Easter book? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good little springtime Easter okay. book. Springtime good. Easter book. Good. Really, really good. And then Margaret Weiss Brown, of course, Goodnight Moon fame and all that kind of stuff. Uh, okay. She wrote so many books before she wrote Goodnight Moon. And this is a collection of them. This particular book is called The Golden Bunny because The Golden Bunny is one of the books. But I think there's like five books in here. Is that right? Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. It did say that there was a collection. So. Yeah, it is. Okay. So there's The Golden Bunny. And then it's got nothing but bunnies. Uh -huh. And there was another, The First Snowdrop, The Snowshoe Rabbit is a poem. A Big White Powdery Rock, Rabbit Dream, Little Hop Toads, your favorite, right? <laughs> fire, fire, fire! <laughs> so it's just great read aloud books for, um, yeah, you can say it's for your kids and grandkids, but of course you have to read it first, you know, so you can practice. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, the emergency preparedness weekend, unfortunately and bizarrely, does not include books at tax free. I don't know why that is. It should because it should you're be. stuck in a shelter That's for right. days. That's you need right. To have and books I've got to read. To, I've got books on what to do when all this happens. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, whatever. Anyway, well, give everybody a discount. Um, how about twenty percent off that on new okay. books? There you go. The right. used ones are half right. price unless you have you know store credit. Then they're even cheaper. <laughs> All right. Okay, hey, we're open. That's we're open. It's cold, but we're open. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Deb. We'll be back with more right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to home. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Be aware that tall trees near a building can be uprooted by straight line winds. That tree can come through the roof of a home.
let's have more of today on too. What do you say? <clears throat> let's give away some prizes. Let's do that. See if anybody's out and around early this morning. We have the free haircut by Hair by Loretta. We have barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, the family barbecue pack. And we have pizza, courtesy of Coleman Pizza Hut, the large five-topping pizza. Those are the prizes for today. We'll ask you a question about one of these ads, so let's look at our merchant ads right now. Starting with Steel Orchard. Yes, they are open during the winter months. You can check out their baked items. Of course, they always have apples available at Steel Orchard, County Road 1141. And the Red Velvet Blizzard is the Blizzard of the Month at DQ. Stop by today over at Dairy Queen and um, get, check that out because that looks so yummy. Mm, oh, I want one yes, so badly. Mm -mm -mm. Be Fit Fitness Facility located right downtown has a winter special. You pay just $50 a month, just pay month to month, and that includes a personal trainer. And Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue features that family pack for just $14.99. That's a pound of meat, two 16 outsides, and four buns. Feed the whole family for $14.99 at Mad Dog's. Done right taxes and bookkeeping services. You can uh, walk in, you can drop off the taxes, you can make an appointment, and they do personal and business taxes and payroll. And Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. Don't let the cold outside bother you. You can still exercise. You can still walk on a track. You can go to aerobics and cycling classes. All there. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Dirt Store. They do lattes. They do mochas. They have entertainment. And let's see. Coming up on Friday night, uh, Rupert Waite, a British songwriter, will oh, be entertaining. That ought to be good. Earl's Body Shop voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. Large and small towing available locally or long distance does it 24 hours a day all right there on highway 31 north chesley oaks golf course open seven days a week yeah they're even open today i bet there's some golfers closed. out there just because it's cold outside <laughs> you can still play golf at chesley oaks there we go with the merchant ads for today question for today is about berkeley bob's coffee shop i'll try to make it easy when is the next entertainment Okay. At Berkeley Bob's. We That's, just told you that a few did. seconds ago. We did. What, uh, what night is the next entertainment at Berkeley Bob's? And let's see, you win pizza from Pizza Hut, you get barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue, and a haircut, hair by Loretta. Our telephone number is 256-734-7399. And we have a caller all ready to go, so let's see if we can give away our prizes. Hello, who's calling? Uh, Gail. From where are you calling? Gail. From where are you calling, Gail? From Coleman. Okay, what's the answer to our question? I believe it's Friday night. It yes, is. Yes, it is. This Friday night, Rupert Waite, I believe, yes. a British entertainer. Well, stay on the line, Gail. Thanks for calling in. And uh, always a good entertainment at Berkeley Bob's. Yes. Usually it's people you've never heard of. And if you go there, you say, wow, why haven't I heard of these people? Right. They're really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's look at the rest of our ads right now. Deb's Bookstore. We know Deb. Yep. She was just here a few minutes ago. <laughs> Books always on sale. You don't worry about getting the tax discount. You get a big, bigger discount. Definitely. Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear. That's Coleman's only men's specialty store for suits and sport coats. And remember, it is fall, uh, it's prom season. So there you can go for fun, fabulous formals. Grand Point Pharmacy, coffee and gift shop. They make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. Grand Point Pharmacy on Highway 31 North. And there's hair by Loretta. She's in her new location in Bella Fair. She can do color, highlights, body waves, straightening, waxing, and spa pedicures. Open Wednesday through Saturday. Frostings now serving soup on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ooh, hot soup syrup. Sounds good, that doesn't it, for would lunch? be very At good. Frostings. And money, okay, <laughs> Mullins Body Shop, money does matter. By, uh, Mullins Body Shop, of course, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and towing. Cotton State Barns, no credit check, you're automatically approved. They do carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings on Highway 278, right by the interstate. And Pizza Hut has their lunch buffet. It's a new featured pizza each and every day, and they do feature a buffet on Sunday nights from 5 until 8. That's Pizza Hut. Tires for less. They do minor engine repair. They do oil changes, replace shocks and brakes, and do alignments. And they're on Highway 31 North. 
and Liberty Tax Service. Don't forget, it's tax season. And they've got two locations, one in Coleman, one in Hansful. And of course, they can do uh, tax service with real benefits. Make your appointment today. There we go with the merchant ads for today. We still have more coming up, like birthdays and anniversaries, right after this. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Now it's time for our Community Billboards, brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Wall Estate Singers are presenting Disney Through the Decades. That's going to be on the 27th and 28th. That's next weekend at the Betty Leith Haynes Theater at 7 o'clock. It is $7 for adults and $5 for students. Kids 5 and under are free. Frederick Arsenault will be here on Friday to talk about his book signing that's going to be taking place at the Huddle House in Hansville. And that is, of course, on Saturday, February the 21st. The annual Arbor Day tree sale will be taking place on Wednesday the 25th. Many varieties available, shade trees, trees for wildlife and ornamental shrubs for landscaping, and all proceeds are going to go to their Fawn school program. Smithsonian Traveling Exhibition is taking place right now at the Evelyn Borough Museum at Wallace State. The Way We Work, check that out, will be there until March the 20th. And if you have a community billboard you want to send us, you can send it to our webpage at channel2coleman.com. Email us channel2coleman at gmail.com. Give us a call 256-734-7399 or you can like us on Facebook at Channel 2 Coleman. We need to uh, wish a happy birthday to Buell Reed and also Audrey Wright. And their names will be put into the drawing where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. The weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Another cloudy, cold day today, a high of 32, maybe some snow flurries, but no accumulation. Overnight low tonight, 11 degrees by tomorrow morning, and tomorrow isn't going to warm up at all, a high of 25 <laughs> tomorrow. Wow, it's going to be cold. That's our program for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>